So, here we are. Heading out into a local creek here on the Gold Coast. Going to see what freshwater fish we can trap today. Um, my uh, turtle has run out of feeder fish, so looking to make a restock for him. So, just out in the not so countryside as we are going to be fish trapping right beside a McDonald's. It's a brand new McDonald's restaurant here on the Gold Coast. And uh, right beside it is a beautiful waterway. And I'm keen to find out what kind of fish are calling it home. So today I've got just my little standard fish trap my bucket and just using a raw beef sausage for bait and we'll see what that can bring us. Here we are. So as you can see it's a big drainage runoff and uh, right through there, not sure if you can see it but that's the, the golden arches of McDonald's. So there's the McDonald's restaurant just up there. So, it's a really attractive waterway. Water lilies everywhere. Right beside that main road, the noise is fairly intense. But looking down at the water, I can already see some small fish which appear to be. Uh, little mosquito fish. Oh, there's a big tilapia right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Massive tilapia. They are a pest in Australian waterways. And uh, if we catch them, we have to bring them out. They can't be returned to the water. The pipe and destroying the net They are quite a large fish. Take a little meander down the side of the creek here and see if we can find a little bit more clear water. There's the tilapia jumping. Oop, look at that movement in the water. They're really big fish. They're a predatory fish. They're, uh, they're in here. eating all of the native fish, eating the food source of the native fish. They're really out competing the uh, Australian natives. We got movement in the water. They really don't belong here at all. I guess one thing I should point out is um, if you're in Australia and uh, you're not from here, you probably shouldn't be just traipsing through the long grass like this. Um, we do have a massive abundance of deadly snakes. There's some movement over there. It's beyond those lilies, I'm not sure what it is. One thing's for sure, this creek is a hive of hive of life. Actually, I might go back up the other way. This is not really a great spot to launch my net. So yeah, just throughout this grassland in the bush here, you know, you're likely to find eastern brown snakes. Uh, they're extremely deadly, number two on the most deadly list. Um, goannas, which are a big monitor lizard, and um, in the treetops around here, you, koalas are quite common as well. But um, I can't see any at the moment. 
I'm just going to come up to the head of the drainage canal. Might find a better spot to actually uh, launch our net fish trap. Now, over there would be really, really good. Not sure how to get there, though. Oh, look, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's another massive tilapia just on the top of the water over there. Get over there. So there's the uh, golden arches. So we're right beside McDonald's catching freshwater fish. And this is going to be an absolutely perfect spot to set the trap. Here we go. It's a little bit hard one handed. I'll have to put this down. Okay, so the trap is baited. And uh, gonna send it off out into the great unknown. We're going to let that sit for I don't know five minutes, and we'll see what's, what's there. Actually, it's very deep, so I'm just going to tie this off here on this little twig. While we wait for the trap to catch some whatevers, um, just have a look at this beautiful life source here. All different kinds of weed, lilies, seagrass, little pond weed on the top. We got dragonflies flying around here. It's absolutely beautiful. We'll see you when we bring up the trap. Let's see what we got. <laughs> we got one single solitary gudgeon. I'm um, going to take it to a different spot. Look at that. Tilapia just there. Let's see if we can at least catch one of them. Get him out of the uh, habitat. Let's see what happens. Absolutely massive fish. While we wait for the trap, to show you guys some of the Australian bush. Can be quite imposing. Big old 
tree. Hold on. I wonder if we can find another spot up this way. Let's have a look see. Ugh. There you go. Look at the uh, way that this tree sheds its bark. Look at that beautiful red colour underneath. Absolutely gorgeous. It sheds it in large sheets. There's some uh, water birds over there. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their name, but I think it's something like Pukeho. Oh, there's a goanna. On the log. See if I can get a bit closer. They're very skittish. They will uh, run pretty quick. So we're just going to take our time. Oh, he's on the move. Isn't he beautiful? This is what I love about this country. The wildlife here is just stunning. It's extremely deep grass here. I'm up to almost up to my waist. You don't know what's crawling around down below. But how amazing is that? And then over the back there, you can see the uh, little water hen. So yeah, that is an Australian goanna. This is about as close as I can get to him. So he's filled up his mouth, his throat with air. He's making himself look bigger. He's feeling threatened. You know, we're, we're, we're really not at any risk of being attacked or anything like that, but uh, he will defend himself. Absolutely beautiful. So this is what else is around us. Leave that goanna alone now. But you know, uh, you've always got to be really careful out here. Um, the weather has been really hot. We're in the middle of our um, summer here. And reptiles love the heat. And uh, goannas are a reptile. So uh, snakes, so it's best to be careful. I don't actually have a first aid kit with me, so um, if I do get bitten, it's not a great deal I can do about it. Except for call for an ambulance. So let's go back and check our trap now. Okay. 
Let's have a look. Teeming, teeming with life. Let's get him over to our bucket. Just grab some water. Let me just open this up. Okay, what have we got in here? We have got a lot of gudgeons again. Doesn't appear to be anything else other than gudgeons, but there is some really nice sized ones. And uh, my turtle is gonna love them. So let's get them into the bucket and we can have a better look. So man, let me get that out of there. Let me pick one up and I'll show you what we got. Okay. Right there. Looks like a little it's a little female. She's actually got a belly on her, so she's got a belly full of bubbers. Let's put her in there. I was hoping to maybe get some baby tilapia, but there doesn't seem to be anything other than gudgeons. That's alright. Okay, well, we came, we saw, we caught a few fish. And, uh, yes, yeah, not what I was after, but anyway. We will head off. Next time we're going to bring the fishing rods and catch all of those tilapia. Clean out this creek from their foreign invader. Trudge through all this long grass to get back to the car. Oh, there's water there. Okay, got to find a different way around. Let's go up this way. Okay, well I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like more of this type of content, like, share and subscribe. And if you are on the Gold Coast, if you want to come out with me, just uh, hit me up. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one.